hey guys, so today we are going to be working on parts of the stem. And here I have our tree from our classroom. It's sitting on my porch. So we can see here the stem, the whole stem. You can see these here also. And up here, this here where the, the stem connects to the leaf, this little bumpy part like that, size of a jelly bean or so, that's called the node. Okay, so that's a node. You can also see another node up here. See the bumpy part that's connecting. You know, this is a, see how it connects to all the leaves. You see the petiole, the leaves, but this part here, this is called the node. Now the space between, sorry, let me, there. So the space here between the nodes, that's called an internode. This is a very small inner node. So those are inner nodes. You can see the inner nodes a little bit better on this plant. So there's your node and there's the inner node, the space between there. So when we look at this, the other part of a stem is called the axle. And the axle, these leaves are like, the axle is right here. It's the angle between the the main part of the stem and the stem of that's connecting to the leaves. So you can see it's making an acute angle. There's one here, like that. Let's go look at some more plants. Like more plants. So here's our rubber tree plant from our classroom. We can really see. So here is an inner node. There's a node. Okay, and then you can see. Come on. You can see the axle right here. Okay, you can see the axle. Down here on this plant, you can see the same thing. My hand right here. So, node, internode, axle. Okay, so those are the main parts of the stem. Now, what the stem does you can see this one looks a little different, doesn't it? You can see the axle here, but this stem kind of comes up into the leaves like this. And what the stem does is it carries water from the roots up to the leaves, where the leaves make the food. And then it also can carry the food that the leaves make back down through the rest of the plant. And it can even store some of that food in its roots. So the stem acts as a support, but it also acts as a little super highway to move water and food throughout the plant. So let's real quick just talk about the main types of stems. There's two main types. Okay, so when we look at my neighbor's hydrangea, we can see that this is wood. This is a woody stem, this hydrangea bush. Okay, so when we look at a tree, that's a woody stem. Okay, we can see some other woody stems here. These are wood, woody stems. Then we have another stem called an herbaceous stem. And that's these ones when they're like green and fleshy. Okay, you can see here too, this is an herbaceous stem. Okay, so we have herbaceous and woody. Then we have the parts of the stem, we have the the nodes and inner nodes, nodes and inner nodes, and the stem is a super highway for food and water, but it also can offer a certain amount of support. So see how this rubber tree plant, we know the leaves make the food, so the stem is growing up tall so that the leaves can, we can grow more leaves and the leaves can get to the sun easier, just like when you look at the trees. You know, I can't go tackle one of those trees, I'm gonna get hurt but it's giving a lot of good support to those trees so the leaves can grow higher and higher and get more sunlight and be able to make more food. Now, have you ever seen a tree kind of blowing in the wind and it like sways? Yeah, well, it's actually made to be able to sway because if it wasn't able to sway and bend like that, it would probably break pretty easily in the wind, wouldn't it? So stems offer a really great support for the plant too, to be able to continue to grow and thrive. So see my garden's getting bigger. There's the big giant hosta. That's probably about 
maybe two thirds of the way there. It's gonna get even bigger than that. It's pretty insane. But yeah, all the classroom plants are here. Some of them are out here on my deck. You can see the ivy. There's the peace lily. See my um, azalea bush is, is really blooming, isn't that a beautiful color? Okay, well, uh, what I did was I went ahead and did another nature walk and I was able to find some different kinds of stems, which was pretty exciting. Uh, just some, some special ones that are a little bit different. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so when we look at these stems, you can see they're growing up this fence. What's cool about these guys, do you see these? They're clinging onto the fence. Okay. So these guys are clingers. See that? They climb all the way up the fence and they actually cling to it. Look at that. That is a vine that's been here for a while. I mean, look at the beautiful pattern. It's very cool. A lot of vines. So I wanted to take a video of these stems. They are really moving and grooving here. Look at these gorgeous flowers. Sorry, somebody's very sad in my neighborhood. All these beautiful purple flowers, but I mean, look at these stems. You have some that are woody stems. And the younger stuff is herbaceous stems. You see herbaceous, the green. And look, you can see some here. There's some, some twisting stems. Isn't that cool? And look how they've just grown all around the fence. Super cool. And this is a vine. Can you see it kind of twisting around there? I mean, look at look at these gorgeous flowers. They look like grapes, don't they? Bumblebees like them. You can see these vines twisting all along the fence. Yeah. <laughs> 